Artificial intelligence has always been a controversial tool in the filmmaker's tool belt. Today, we explore the history of AI in filmmaking and the challenges it brought to the motion picture industry. The first time I saw a computer on set, I said, my gosh, are we sure we want to do this? But then I saw it animate a cartoon. Spectacular. Tugboat Steely was released in 1928, drawn entirely by a steam-powered robotic arm controlled by punch carts. It's a marvel of engineering, wouldn't you say? Indeed. But like any new technology, not everyone was ready to embrace it. I remember my first shoot, one of the gaffers on set told me to pick up a pencil, and then he stormed off. But it wasn't just Hollywood. French New Wave filmmaker Guillaume Herbeau was the first to use AI to write a screenplay, Le Mole de Pain, a film critics widely dismissed as soulless. Je suis tombé sur ta croûte, en pleine rue, sous la voûte, le ah, bain baguette. Toi, monstre. It was big challenge for me. It's not good reaction from cinema business, but fuck them. <laughs> but the use of AI in French cinema marked a shift. Soon, filmmakers like The Real Robot were creating entire films with AI visuals. You know, it's weird sitting across from you after what you did to Marcellus. Well, Marcellus got off a lot easier than you will. for film that spanned months. It was a chance for someone like me, with no real talent or vision, to make a movie dozens of people would see. AI's first steps in film were shaky, strange, and controversial. In part two, we'll trace the use of AI through more decades of cinema. We are not going to ask you again. Uh, who sent uh, Who sent you? <laughs>